Short time ago, we heard air raid sirens, an explosion in the capital, Kyiv. We now know, we believe we know what was behind that. Our Clarissa Ward is back now. Clarissa, we believe we know what the target was of that attack now. That's right, Jim. So just before we had spoken last time, we had heard that loud explosion. You heard the air raid sirens throughout our live report. We now believe that the target was the sort of central broadcaster TV tower. It's about three miles in that direction over that way. Um, when our cameraman, Scott McWinney, was on the roof, he was able to see a large plume of smoke coming from that direction. We have seen some videos also on social media showing what appears to be a large amount of smoke. The TV tower, at least in the one video we saw, appears to still be standing, although it's not clear what the status is of that now. We have had uh, a report out from the Minister of Internal Affairs. Uh, they said that this, uh, that basically the TV tower was hit, that channels will not be working for a while, but that backup broadcasting will soon be enabled. So presumably most Ukrainians yeah. not any longer able to watch uh, Ukrainian main TV channels. Now, important to put this in some context, Jim, the Russian defense ministry had warned earlier in the day that they were going to be hitting several targets inside Kiev in the capital today. Yeah. And one of them, which they had mentioned and told people who live near to places like this to leave, were relay nodes, relay nodes. The language even in Russian is quite vague here, but basically what we've understood that to mean is large scale antennas, uh, sort of communications towers. Um, and so this appears to be the first strike targeting that, that we now see on uh, Ukraine's, uh, on Kiev's TV tower. You're seeing those images there again of smoke billowing up in the distance. It was a pretty significant explosion that we heard, Jim. We've obviously been hearing strikes on a regular basis throughout the past few nights, but this was louder uh, than usual. Again, not clear yet whether the tower actually collapsed. It appeared initially that it was still standing, but obviously some serious damage done to the surrounding infrastructure that Ukraine's authorities are now announcing that those channels will not work for a while until backup mm -hmm. broadcasting can be enabled, Jim.